The first method to enable virtualization. Click on the window search and go to Control Panel. Here, click on Uninstall a program. If you don't see this option, change a view by to a category. Now, in a new window, click Turn Windows Futures on or off. Scroll down and tick the box with Virtual Machine Platform. Additionally, if you are planning to use Hyper-V, select that box as well. Once that's done, click on OK. The components will start to install and you will need to restart your machine for it to take effect. The second option is to enable virtualization from our BIOS settings. To do so, click on the Windows search and look for Recovery. Then click on the Recovery options. Here click on Advanced Startup and restart now. Shortly after, you will be presented with this window. Click on the Troubleshoot at the bottom, then Advanced Options and UFI Settings. After clicking on the Restart, it will take you to your BIOS settings. Now, an important thing to keep in mind is that your BIOS may and probably will look a bit different, as it depends on the manufacturer you are using. So an HP laptop with Intel can be a bit different than for example Dell with AMD. The golden rule here is to search for advanced or configuration options and then something along the line virtualization technology or SVM which stands for secure virtual machine. I am going to present you with a few different screenshots for ease of use. Now, once you have your option enabled, click on save or continue your machine will restart and virtualization will be enabled.